we put weeks into this, thousands of dollars into this. I do understand. I, sir, sir, please stop. Please stop. Is somebody going to pay me? Sir, I'm just asking you to stop. It's not your house to destroy. This is it our is my property. This, this is, is my property. Ours. I have receipts for everything. You've likely seen this video before, and you may have felt this exact same way in the past, but view it as a cautionary tale. The remodeler in this video took matters into his own hands when a client refused to pay. He also claimed that the project was his property, but what would a construction lawyer say about that? Our director of content, Erica Mossi, caught up with Thomas Cressman, an attorney specializing in construction, to determine what exactly those options are. In response, she heard that Cressman said it's not completely uncommon for remodelers to approach him, feeling so impassioned that they want to do something similar. Situations don't always end up like that. Erica previously outlined an event that happened this past August in Washington between a, another homeowner and remodeler, but that dispute ended in death when the remodeler decided to take a hammer to his bathroom project. So it's not the first time and it's not the last time that these events have made headlines, but you should know what your options are. Let's catch up with Thomas and see what he has to say if you find yourself in a situation like this. But every once in a while, I'll get a client that's really emotional um, and, and, and rightfully so, I mean, they did, they did their work and they're now not getting paid for it. Um, and sometimes without really any good reason. And the way they usually come to me is, Hey, Thomas, I did this bathroom. I installed these gutters and they're not paying me. So I'm just going to go and essentially rip out that work. Um, and we always say, no, you can't do that. Um, you know, we usually advise them that there are potential criminal and civil actions that could be taken against them for doing that work. Uh, we are by no means a criminal law firm. We, we just do construction law, but, but you can kind of see it, right? I mean, destruction of property, those kind of things. Um, but what we do tell them is, you know, you do have a path in, in order to recover that and you just have to follow the correct path. And that may be to either file a lawsuit or file a mechanics lien against the property. Um, because those assets have been now attached to the house, um, you can go and get a mechanics lien for that. It's a little bit different in a situation where there are simply materials delivered, right? Um, those, we do tell them that you, you may, under your contract, have the right to go and take those materials that have not been actually installed on the project back because depending on how your contract's written, you may still have title to them. But the question actually comes up more often than I'd like it to. Um, and again, it does have to do with their emotional state of being really angry that they did good quality work and now are not getting paid for it. No, we, we haven't had anybody that actually got to that point um, because probably we wouldn't be representing them <laughs> if they were that, that bad. Um, and also, frankly, again, you know, my personal belief without being a, a criminal law attorney is, you know, you'd be looking at destruction of property and that's stuff that we wouldn't handle anyway. Um, and so we'd immediately say, here's some criminal attorneys we recommend you go talk to immediately. But uh, it probably happens twice a year, I'd say. So not, again, not super frequently, but enough that it's not unheard of in my profession. So not in the sense of trades, like roofers versus somebody that does like kitchen and bath or something like that. Um, but what I typically see are smaller remodelers. Um, and again, that's because if they don't get paid, their cash flow and their, their reserves are such that it has a greater impact than if it's a bigger company. So when they don't get paid, that really, they feel it. Um, so the smaller the ones tend to be the ones that I that, that come to me with that question. But I've had it for roofers, I've had it for for kitchen and bath, um, all saying the kind of same things. Can I go in and rip it out? <laughs>